the things that people make. Look at these creatures that might have stepped out of the pages of those famous books by Beatrice Potter that children love. It was a man called Walter Potter, who lived all his life at Bramber in Sussex, who created the most human and humorous of stuffed animals that the world has ever known. They're on show today in Potter's Museum of Animal Fantasy. Walter Potter, the Sussex taxidermist, was a genius who made fur-lined dolls into whimsical but veritable works of poetic art. Here is a Hans Andersen who leaves the people who see his creations to formulate the thoughts that tell them their own fairy tales in their own words. He conceived the school day dramas in a medium that no other artist had even considered possible. Just study this childlike conception of the daydreams of a kindergarten child. Walter Potter was famous for his squirrels club. As an artist, he suffered simply because there was no one to compare him with. But see how sensitive he could be when he took time off from simply stuffing cherished pets, which was his bread and butter job. Who Killed Cock Robin? By all accounts, his finest work, which took seven years to complete. A man who was born a craftsman became, by the quality of his work, an artist in his own right catching the feel, for instance, of the countryside. And out of